hey guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button because now we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers let's see how long it take us to reach the goal of 20,000 but anyways guys do you know what's different about me drum roll please i am officially a Ghanaian citizen in the next video i will post the actual ceremony however in this video i attended the diaspora african forum meeting and honestly it was such a powerful experience and i say experience because people from the diaspora all from all over the world gathered in one room all excited to receive their citizenship the next day during the meeting everyone shared their vision their goals their story where they came from and basically what they plan on doing in ghana but it was inspiring to be surrounded by like-minded people the energy in the room was just amazing but i just want you guys to take a listen and hear everyone's story and journey and maybe you will be inspired to visit or relocate to ghana and if that's the case feel free to send me an email to davidblues at gmail.com they never had the opportunity and they came to the motherland but just to give them a resting place on the land of who they truly are. So we have names like Rosa Parks, Brian Taylor, Chabre Bosman, Harry Belafonte. It goes on and on. Even Dr. W.E.D. Du Bois is honored on that wall. So it gives you an opportunity to actually say that you never came, but this is this is where you can finally run the land. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Supporters wall. Come on. Right. Supporters wall. <laughs> so the supporters wall, as the name implies, supporters, people that are supporting us, it's a one time donation. And it has names of the Obamas. We have the vice president of Costa Rica coming all the way to Ghana for the launch of the sixth region of Africa flag. So the supporters wall has names of people who have actually identified the great work that Ambassador is doing and they want to uh, support us. Yes, for the donation. And we have a form for anyone that would like to do a donation. Of the diaspora. I mean, they have really stepped up for us. They really, really, really have. Those employees, a couple of them got sick like me. That's, I mean, we've been working night and day and that kind of thing. And so what I want us to do is to give them a donation. I want to give them a package. I want us to all just donate something that we just hand it to, you know, I'll give it to the, the leader just to say we want to say thank you from mm -hmm. the class of 2024, you see. And I think that's a good thing to do, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And you want to do that. You see, that, that's the whole thing. You know, and see, money is to spend. You see, the, this couple here, I want you all to know them. This couple, the Simpkins, have been so supportive of us. Damn. I mean, they put their money here. You see, you, if you hold your hand like this, okay. that goes out, but it doesn't come in either. So uh, that's one of the things that I want us to do, too. I want us to really, 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 really just whatever it is, you know, whatever you have that you can donate, I want you to do that. And just pass the basket around and uh, then I want to ask you, <laughs> what would you like to know so we can limit the Okay, all I want to know is your name. Yeah. Where you go? I told y'all my voice is weak, because mm -hmm. my spirit is high. <laughs> <laughs> to tell me your name, yeah. uh, where you're from. Okay. That's all you want to know? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I want to know. I am Boykin Sanders. I grew up in the state of South Carolina. I am a professor at, in Richmond, Virginia, and I have been coming here. This is my 60th time in Ghana. Oh, yeah. Nice. South Carolina, too. Love you. Me? Hey. So I'm Deja. I'm from New York. Um, I've been living in Ghana for the past five years. My first time in Ghana was in 2015, and from then on, I knew I had to relocate here, and I have a business, so I have a Jamaican food truck that I built here in Ghana, and I've been running it ever since. Okay. I'm Clinton. I work with Ike Howard as the Director of Operations for the Bala for Teacher Foundation. I'm here to assist you. Okay. Um, I'm Lidge. I'm from Jamaica. Hey. I'm a mother, and I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> hey. Hi. I am of course come from the U.S., but I am happy to be in Ghana. The Most High has made good on His promises, so we're here. Hello, Hebrew Israelite, um, community leader and teacher. 
in the Eastern region from the US and Jamaica, and I'm here to build Africa, to build Ghana. My name is Yvonne Boyd. I'm from the US, and um, I have a business called Ghana Africa Development Corporation. And I'm here to help build Africa and to build Africa. My name is Raquel Adobe in Ghana. They call me Abina Kakeli. And I first came to Ghana. I was planning on leaving the U.S. in Paris. was where I thought it was. Cause that's where I learned more, most about Africa and had African food and African friends. And then the president here said, come here. And I was like, all right. We came here, didn't know anybody, had never been, stayed for a year, and have been kind of back and forth ever since and I have a travel booking platform to help black Americans specifically who don't know anything about Africa to be able to come and find a country that matches them. Louisiana, I've been coming to Ghana since 2018. I've been living here for a year and a half. I've been loving it. Um, and I really believe uh, right before Katrina I was told to leave New Orleans. 16 years later the city was underwater. Wow. And I prepared a place for my family. And I really believe that's what I'm doing here, preparing a place. I'm one of 16, yeah. so I have a huge family. And so I believe I'm here to prepare a place for them, but also to contribute to our, awesome. to our home. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Chanel Andrews. You guys uh, heard from me briefly earlier. Uh, I first came to Ghana in uh, 2013. I was doing a study abroad program where I met uh, Ambassador Bennett. And it's interesting because at that time, we gave Rita Marley her citizenship. A lot of people yes. don't know, but Rita Marley lives here. Yes. And that was like a dream. I, I had won a citizenship. Ghana is the first African country that I've ever visited. And I immediately fell in love with it. And uh, it's just a surreal moment to uh, come full circle, to be a part of honoring someone with their citizenship and then to come back and receive mine. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I am an attorney and I practice immigration and business law. I'm primarily based out of Paris, but I'll be going back and forth between uh, Paris and, and Accra. And I wanna help connect all of us in the diaspora, especially in terms of uh, business opportunities and you know, facilitating the, the legal aspects of that. So if you ever need any help, just let me know and welcome back. <laughs> yeah. um, it is really a privilege for us to gather together. Yes. And this special occasion, coming home, yes. and um, we are vanguards of our people, yes. um, leading them back home. Yes. And um, I really appreciate the, the reason why right. we're here. Right. My yeah, objective, nice. along with her objective, is to make sure that when we participate, it's not for the parties, it's for the purposefulness of why we are here, mm -hmm. to remember the spirit of Marcus Garvey, though we're not in Liberia, but we're here, mm -hmm. that we contribute to the livelihood, to the economic of the people here, that we do not gentrify the economy mm -hmm. here like we did in my hometown of Chicago and mm -hmm. other major cities, mm -hmm. and that we hold true to ourselves, and that liberty did not bring freedom for us in the United States, so I love my country, and we'll go back into the belly of the beast, and we'll be the Harriet Tubman mm -hmm. and the Dorothy Hyde to fight within this administration, as I did in the Obama administration, Mm -hmm. who is antithetical to the whole continent of mm -hmm. Africa, the mm -hmm. truth. So I'm here to uphold and uplift the truth that this mm -hmm. woman has yes, been And I'm here first of all because of her. You always have to have a ship of Zion to which we're tied into, and you are the ship of Zion for yes. my activity, oh. my activity. Preach one! Preach one! Preach one! Preach one! Feel free to pass the money plate to contribute to what she personally gives to each and every one of us. That no matter what we may have paid, you know, through the regulations of our ID cards, our passport, the things that she expedited for us, do you know how much time she spent? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Y'all had to come, and all, but there was like this faith 
there was this fire in all of us that yes. this was like the most important thing to us. Yes. And I know that we have all planted yes. seeds mm -hmm. that are going to blossom yes. like a bamboo tree mm -hmm. because we all believed. And I cannot wait to see what comes of this. Amen. And I'm just honored. And I know I'm going to get a chance to meet and talk to every single yes. one of you, but I'm so honored to be in your presence today. Because we all. The, the dinner. Yeah, oh, we're doing a celebration dinner uh, tomorrow mm. after the event. It's uh, going to be starting at like 8 o'clock. I wish I could just comp everybody, mm -hmm. but you know, the people here have to make money. So <laughs> yeah. Yes. I left my classroom Friday evening from San Francisco, mm -hmm. arrived in Atlanta Saturday morning. Spent the day and the night in Atlanta because I couldn't get the flight out to Prague by way of New York. So I got on a flight last night, went to New York, and then from New York to Ghana. And to be here, I didn't know about this when all of that was happening as I told my students goodbye. By the way, I'm Linda Gale Miles Coleman, born and raised in the state of Louisiana. Ooh, I was born in Chicago, grew up in the projects of Chicago. My Hebrew name is Yahaziah. It means God has grasped. Not either. Mm -hmm. Or we wouldn't be sitting here. We didn't know each other. Let's all into this room with one another. God is doing this. Dang. This is the hand of God. My name means God is taking hold up. Well, it was Elikaz when it was first given to me, which means God is taking hold of. But when it was changed to Yahaziah, is now the hand of God moving. Mm -hmm. 77, I had a dream. We got to get with her and hold her. Not let her fall. We got to get with her and push. Against any energy against us, we got to push. She's doing a remarkable work. So guys, that sums up this video. I want y'all to leave a comment if you were inspired by the people in this video. And what stood out to you the most? But again, the energy in this room, there's something bigger going on here and I really can't put words to it. If this video also inspired you to come and visit Ghana for the first time or even relocate, feel free to reach out to me. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my page. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye.